Online currency Bitcoin has now almost overtaken gold in value. A single Bitcoin currently trades for $1,200, just shy of an ounce of bullion. And for more on this looming milestone, I can talk to Dr. Richard Stallman, president of the Free Software Foundation. Dr. Stallman, welcome to RT. So what's your verdict? Is Bitcoin a financial miracle? or a bubble waiting to burst, especially taking into account that uh, it's extreme volatility? Um, I couldn't quite tell what question you were asking me. It's too complicated. <laughs> I'm talking, yes, we're talking about Bitcoin. Is it a miracle or a bubble to, uh, ready to burst? Well, first of all, is it a bubble? Bubbles can happen in Bitcoin just as they can happen in housing or in tulips or anything that people speculate in. So bubbles can happen and that's nothing special or different. Is Bitcoin a miracle? I'm not sure what that would mean. There are good and bad things about Bitcoin. One good thing about Bitcoin is you can send money to someone without getting the permission of a payment company. So for instance, if you want to support WikiLeaks, which is a very good thing, and which the U.S. government doesn't want to let people support and has used extrajudicial means to chase off the Internet partially, didn't succeed completely, well, with Bitcoin, you can do it. On the other hand, there is a potential problem with Bitcoin, which is it might get used for tax evasion. I am not in favor of tax evasion, but we have to realize that the biggest and most harmful cases of tax evasion are lawful. Governments don't dare make businesses pay the sort of taxes that they ought to, and they don't dare make rich people pay the taxes that they ought to. Mm. And thus, if we really want to put an end to tax dodging, we really need to change the tax laws so that businesses can't offshore their profits. Now, I'm speaking from London, and as we know, there were big protests against the offshoring of profits that the UK government doesn't have the courage to stop. Why is there so much appetite for Bitcoin, and what possible advantages does it have over conventional currencies? Well, uh, its advantage is that you can send money without getting some company to send it for you. Right. And uh, do you think the recent revelations of NSA spying have done anything for Bitcoin? Well, I have to point out that Bitcoin is not anonymous. That's not part of its design. It's, you know, people don't necessarily give their names when they do Bitcoin transactions. But the government can probably figure out who's doing the transaction. Uh, how are you going to get Bitcoins after all? Unless you set up a Bitcoin mining computer, which is how Bitcoins are made, you're going to get them by buying them from someone. Now, if you're an ordinary person, you, the way you could do that is by paying with a credit card to a company that will exchange uh, government currency for Bitcoins. Well, the car credit card identifies you so when you get bitcoins in return, the government can see who you are. How safe is the system so, from... Yes, please, go ahead. So now, I believe that we need on the World Wide Web a system for truly anonymous payment to a website. But it's the payer that has to be anonymous. It doesn't have to be anonymous for which website received the payment. So. That's what I advocate setting up. We know the technology. It was developed 20 years ago to do this work. What's needed is the business and social uh, task of getting it set up such that lots of people can use it. We must have an anonymous way to pay websites so that they can't have the excuse that the only way to get any money is by advertising that tracks people. We know that if companies track people, then the NSA or GCHQ is going to look at that data. It's going to be tracking people through these companies. So I essentially almost never use a credit card to buy anything. The only exception generally is airline tickets because they demand my name anyway. So okay, I'm not doctor. losing anything by using the credit card. The point is we need anonymity to make democracy safe. 
Dr. Stallman, Dr. Richard Stallman, President of the Free Software Foundation. Dr. Stallman, thank you very much indeed for sharing your insight with us. Thank you.